what I want to convey to you cannot be done in 15, 20 minutes. But I'll give the gist of it. I'll make you aware of what is the propagation of plants so that you don't make mistakes. My 50 years of experience I'll share it. Short. And those who want to really learn more deep into this subject, please come and uh, attend my workshop there because you need about two, three hours. Because I make this. Both, both, both. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I, I make people do these practical things. Otherwise, this is just a talk and you will forget. Most of you will forget if you are not very keen. It's just for knowledge. But I'm so happy that uh, people from Parra, Kolwale, Olali, of course, so nice. They have come to Saligaon here. See, if we want to propagate, even human beings, we need two people. All human beings can be produced as on today, only sexually. There is a move, including the animals, to propagate them by tissue culture. They have succeeded in uh, some animals, but the church is against propagating the human being by tissue culture. Uh, you, you got my point, why, what is a tissue culture? So, uh, let's take this little boy here. If you want the same boy, we can produce in millions, actually, but in the laboratory. But it, it's not worth it, it's not a good idea. It's a good that church is against this. So, uh, same thing happens with the plants. Uh, one day somebody asked me, how do they have sex? They do have. And we also train them how to, do, to have sex. See, the plants are propagated, I'll talk only about the plants now, are propagated sexually and asexually. Sexually is by seeds only. You know, many years ago, people used to grow only by seeds. They traveled the world and brought seeds to go out from Africa, Burma, and, uh, and dif of different places. And we do have uh, plants come from different uh, continents here. That is all by seeds. But today, we g want to multiply asexually, or it's called vegetative propagation of plants. I'll give you a few examples why we need to adopt this method so that we get the same thing. We call it true to the type. Like, for example, we are in the season of mangoes now. I, all of you must have noticed when you go in the market, you buy Malkurad in Mapsa, you buy in Panjim, or you buy from Nesta, who is a great farmer. You know, you will find there is a difference in taste, difference in uh, quality. Some are fibrous, some are got spongy tissue, some are small, some are big. Uh, outside there, sometimes the reddish in color, sometimes only yellow. So it varies. To my knowledge, I remember 16 strains of Malkurad in Goa, and I have tasted them. So now what happens? When you want to have that the best of uh, Malkurad, let us say it is an Alice's compound. So how do I get that? Because Alice vouches, this is the best Malkurad in the world. So Oswald also says the same thing. So many people come and tell me, you help me to propagate this mango tree or jackfruit tree. I, I have one condition to them. Bring the mangoes to me first to taste. Or bring the jackfruit. You may like it, I must like it to come uh, and do it. I do help people like this. I check if it is good. I go anywhere in Goa and do vegetative propagation. Now, first thing what people do when you want to propagate any plant, when I said seed, next is by cuttings. You know, cutting shoots we call very commonly. Kano, adi konsoitalet. I don't know, the older people, you know what it is, just pull the branch. 
Because they said, roots will not form if you don't do that. But science has proved that it, that is not required. You have to make cuttings. There are different types of cuttings you can make. Hardwood, we call it, very, very strong, old wood, semi and soft. You can do all this in most of the plants. Do you know, we all believe that mangoes have to be only grafted? Do you heard that you can do by some other method? Like what? How do you propagate wood? Yeah, layering, very good. Have you tried cuttings? Mango can be propagated by cuttings. The old days are gone. You can do by layering and, uh, uh, but what is the advantage of uh, doing by cuttings and air layering? That I must tell you. I do that, I have a, a big mango plants done by air layering and cuttings also. The advantage of these, you know, when it is uh, cutting or layering, the, uh, the, the, that plant does not have a taproot system. Like for example, if you grow up the hill in Saligaon where it's very rocky, and if you have an air layered plant, it's advantageous. They grow horizontally. Two feet soil is enough to grow a huge mango tree. Otherwise, you have to make a huge pot, uh, a pit. Very often people come to me, I had done my, I had read about it. It said to three feet by three feet by three feet. They are not wrong because it's, Every book that you read will tell you that this is the size of the pit that you require for a mango tree. But remember, in a hard rock, it is like planting in a cement pot. Roots can't go beyond that. Same thing with coconut. So you have to have a large pit. I have done uh, helped somebody with one five cubic meters of soil in one pit, in such. You have to spend little money in such areas. Otherwise, basically in Saligaon, for in the plains, you require a very small pit to grow any of these uh, plants, grafts. So the, I, I said, we, first thing we think of a cutting. Anything, like roses, for example, we avoid growing by cuttings, these hybrid roses that you see, because they don't like to grow on their own roots. So we do budding. Budding and grafting mean same, but is, uh, you take a bud, or uh, for grafting you take a stick. There are various methods in uh, uh, mango grafting, for example. The stone grafting has become very popular now. But we have advanced a little more. Uh, I remember 30 years ago, the stone grafting, when it came, it had to be tender, uh, three months old. You can grow seedlings, from the seed and let them grow for one year, two years. You can still cut and graft that. It is not difficult. And, it, 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 and you can do any time of the year. There is a notion that you have to do during monsoon. For example, air layering he was talking, you can do it any time of the year. You can do grafting any time of the year. But you have to create a condition. If that is done, you will be very successful. So the, uh, coming to other uh, plants like guava, chikus, chikus also can be grown by cuttings, and guavas also. I don't know how many of you all have tried, but it can be very successful. Uh, with the advent of hormones, for rooting hormones, it has become much easier today than many years. We used to call guti for air layering. And we used, those days, I remember when I was young, they used to tie uh, coconut kato, you know, just tie it, it roots you separate and take it. That's how they propagated chikus, I remember, and govas. But afterwards, uh, people started doing off season, uh, not monsoon, not monsoon months. All you need to take today, what is best media that is available, is cocoa peat. Spagnum moss also is very good, but it's a banned item. It, uh, it, there are people who sell in Goa, but we don't sell because it's a banned item. It's a forest. You can be arrested for uh, using this. So cocoa peat, you know what is cocoa peat? It's from the coconut powder. 
wet it, apply hormone for air layering, put that, and tie it with a, a, a plastic wrap. And you, more beneficial, I'll tell you, which I have uh, experimented, you also could do it with the uh, black polythene. You know, when there is no light, no, routing becomes much easier than uh, having just uh, transparent po uh, polythene. But you must know, then question comes, how do you know it is rooted? Yeah. So there are signs that uh, the, the plant shows. It slightly shows weakness on the branch. That you need little experience to know. Or uh, time. Normally, most of the layers can be done in uh, one and a half month to two months. Like, for example, crotons, for example, you can do it in 20 days. They root so fast if you do layering. But first, you must always attempt to propagate any plant by cuttings, which you can make in thousands. Then if you don't succeed in cutting, go in for layering. Layering, there are two types. Air layering, we call it. And also, you can take a branch, cut it, and put it in the soil, put, keep one stone. It is the same thing. So it's layering. Then the last resort, when you can't do anything, the best thing is to do uh, propagate by grafting. Now, another question comes. Can mango uh, be grafted on any other plant? At least till today, we don't have one. But for chiku, do we have? There's a uh, tree called kirni. You can also grow chiku seeds, make a seed seedling, and graft on that. But kirni is so easily available in India. Uh, you can propagate that and graft. Very, very easy. A kirni is uh, belonging to the chiku family. And, and uh, it grows wild, in, especially in Gujarat, that side. No, no, it's a tree. It's a tree. Yeah. There are other, uh, in the chiku, there are other f families like uh, Andode, we call it Mimusab Selengi. Anybody knows? Andode. You, you can uh, also graft it on that. So, uh, you know Adao? Anybody heard about Adao? Yeah. It's the uh, most difficult uh, plant to propagate. Many of them being cut down. Very few are yes, very few are there. There were so many in Donapal, I, I hardly see few now. Chakabasa, uh, Nesta has got beautiful grafts here. You, you can buy from him. Adao is very interesting. Yeah, to, to, to propagate, no? Big pardon? Yeah, Chuku family. It's a huge tree, beautiful tree. Uh, I love that tree. Uh, now, how to make more? You, you can't get uh, in the market. Nesta, am I right? You, can, you have grafts? Ah, okay. So I, I also propagate. I also tried air layering in, uh, in Adao. It took a couple of years for me to get it. But it doesn't establish well. It roots. So avoid that. Easy to propagate Adao is by uh, growing seedlings of Adao only seeds. Maybe Chiku also. Uh, I have not tried on Chiku. But Adao to Adao, it does very well. It should be a very, very slowing plant, slow growing plant. I've never seen something in the kidney plant. I've not tried. You tried? Uh, we, uh? Uh, very good. Because kidney seeds are easily available. By cages, uh, tons you can buy. But chiku seeds, adao seeds, you'll not get. Adao is a lovely fruit. We are losing out. So you, you all should uh, try and plant more uh, of this. Matomas. Agasa no Kortali, I think, no? Yeah. I used to buy them in the ferry boat, you know, those days. There used to be ferry there. But I can't get a single plant. If, you, if somebody knows, Nesta, you know where is a Matoma plant? It's in the. It's in that. Kortali. Kelosi, but uh, I've seen that plant. It looks like a boron tree. No, but I can't find. I went hunting for it. Oh, 
Okay, let's not, uh, because uh, time is very short I have. So let me uh, complete this. There are many things like this. Specific to this propagation and vegetative propagation, you can ask me questions. So let's not. Uh, tell us a little more about the cutting of the Ah, OK. OK, cutting, I'll tell you, or air layering also, I'll tell you. Air layering, we know. Ah, no, no. You must know. Uh, we, you know, jackfruits also can be done. Have you tried? They can be done. I got uh, plants of jackfruit by air layering. Yeah, uh, excuse me. It'll just be uh, there. You know, uh, cuttings of mango, y you have to take very hard cutting, and the cutting should be at least about uh, one and a half centimeter thick. If you take a tender, matured cutting also, it doesn't come up. But I I'll tell you one secret about this. F first of all, give more surface for your cutting and deep in the hormone. You know, uh, when I say more surface, cut both sides, make a wedge. wedge. So you have more area for rooting, yes. See, when you apply hormone, you know the roots come from uh, cells called cambium. They are between the bark and the central wood. The thin layer. Then what you do, uh, Try to propagate in pure sand. Pure and coarse sand. Don't use this fine sand, what do you get? You will not succeed. Then the uh, other thing that you have to do, and you wash it if it's from the salt, yeah, that's all. But coarse. Uh, then uh, what you do, uh, you plant them in the bag and cover it with a plastic. It should be airtight. Yeah till it sprouts. Avoid June, July, if you're doing cuttings. When there's heavy rain, there's too much of fungus around. And uh, best thing, you have to water it every day. Huh? Even you have to untie that, you water it. You open water every day. And it takes about 45 days to 50 days to sprout and root. Very carefully, you have to pull it out from the sand, uh, loosen the sand slightly, and plant in a, another bag with soil, manure, and again cover it. If you don't cover, you may lose that plant. I'll tell you one more thing. Many times uh, we make uh, air layering, and still we lose the plant. You feel happy that you have lots of roots, and uh, excited about it, and you plant it in the uh, soil and you lose it. What you do, whichever the plant, whether you do lime or, uh, or uh, guava or whatever, you cut the leaves into half before separating from the mother plant to reduce the evaporation of water from the plant. It should not dry. You pardon? Not knock off, half, 50%, cut them into half. Don't, see, you, when you pull, it hurts. Don't do that. Cut the leaves into half. On the plant, don't do it afterwards because it will dry. Then you open up the wrap and plant it. And cover it for some days. Hot time, and now uh, uh, April, May, sometimes it's difficult. But uh, winter time, it is very easy. You can do all uh, kinds of uh, propagation. One, one, uh, big pardon? No, no, no. Cut the leaves. Once you see the roots, you cut the leaves and separate it same day. And just cover it with thin plastic, which you can see. Yeah, yeah. Even cuttings, if you do like this, I've succeeded in mango with cuttings also. Yeah, you know, I'll give you the number at the end. You have to contact. On propagation, I'll have it in August. Yeah. But we may have a uh, propagation on gardening and all earlier. But if you want, and only those who are really interested and want to do business, please come. Just for knowledge, uh, this is good enough, what I said. If you are interested in establishing a nursery and selling those plants, 
I'll give you all the secrets, but you have to come there. Is it possible or like in the past you would see the condom tree, if it is that like it says a chewing gum? Big pardon? Is the mango was of the chewing type? No, I didn't get it. Tell me if again. If the mango is of the chewing type, uh -huh. it is not like mankura and all. Yeah, yeah. Then they would graft on that different types of mangoes. On the tree itself? Yes, any tree will, itself. any seed will do. No, how, on the tree itself, how is the process to be done? On the big tree? Yeah, yeah. How big is the tree? No, no. Uh, science uh, tells us it should not be more than 30 years. Yes. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. Horn is to push that uh, the bark open. That you, you, I will show you there now. We have very limited time. Yeah. Complete, complete. No, 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 no. You have to remove. And very important, uh, those who want to do it, you have to scrape it properly. Because the, the, I, I mentioned to you about that cambium cells, they join. Then you will wait for the roots to come forever. It will, not, it will join. Yeah. With the knife, grafting knife, you can just scrape it nicely. No, first you remove the skin or the bark, what you call it. About one inch is enough. And that, once you remove the bark, you scrape it, just like that, with a knife. But do it correctly. Even if you leave one strip, no, they, that can join. That, then that, that's a failure. And anything uh, on this, but uh, very practical, those who are really want to do business. No, 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 not on the tree. No, no, the, uh, when you separate it only. That, before that, it has got his own food. You don't need to do it. Uh, there are many things to say on the vegetative propagation, but now tissue culture also is a vegetative propagation. Huh? Today, uh, many plants that you see in the market are tissue cultured. They, they do it in millions. And you can't buy uh, 10 plants from them. 2,000, 5,000 you have to buy. We do that. It's, uh, you know, uh, it does, Goa, it doesn't sell so much. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I saw your, yeah. yeah. Ah, very nice. Uh, no. Uh, Banasari, no, boring, boring. Yeah. I think I have not been, I want to go there. Yeah. See, tissue culture is, uh, is the latest thing. Instead of, uh, even mangoes, they'll do it after some time. The, you know, that is called protocol. The uh, from where to get that cell? Each plant, the cell varies from uh, leaf to the bark, or the tip of the leaf, or the bottom of the leaf, or the side. That a lot of research is been. Even coconuts are going to come from tissue culture soon. Pray that human beings don't come. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Same, same quality. You know, this question is uh, is uh, when we do the propagation, the idea behind vegetative propagation is to get through to the typings, same taste, same everything we will get here. Whether cuttings, uh, layering, or grafting, it is same. It's a vegetative propagation. Hmm. Uh, it's a good question. Huh? See, just listen to me. See, uh, whenever we have uh, uh, grafts or uh, air layer, uh, uh, you know, many of them immediately flower. Please do not uh, remove the flowers as soon as the flowers come. See, they, uh, the body of the plant must grow big to produce. It's like a child of 10 years, uh, girl bearing a child. It's dangerous. So this, so plant must grow big enough. Uh, after two years, you can allow few uh, fruits. Which are the fruits? After five years, you will get bamboo crop. Yeah. 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 See, that is a, 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 a gimmicks of selling by all nurses, including me. I tell you, we have uh, mango plants, uh, small. Some we keep, not. Uh, uh, some we have uh, to show people that you, you can get it. 
Otherwise, I'll have to tell Sharma like this only. It's very difficult. Yeah, one second, huh? somebody wants to. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I did nothing. Uh, excuse me, Nesta, uh, just a minute. See, this question, you know, he has got a lime seven years old, no limes have come. And he has bought a graft from somewhere, some nursery. Maybe a, a nursery also, I don't know. Uh, what happens, you know, when there is a graft, there is one problem which I forgot to tell you. Uh, Goody asked me this question. See, when you uh, grow a mango graft, there is a joint. Anything comes below the joint, you must nip off. Don't cut, nip off. Remember that. When you cut, you create a big wound. Unnecessarily, you are creating pro. When the branches are small, no, with the finger, you should be able to knock off that. And this happens for two, three years. And this must be your wild one has grown and the grafted has died and you are waiting for the limes. So be careful. So best thing in this case, no? Cuttings uh, propagated or air layered. Was so the, was No, no. You, you see, I'll tell you what happened. When you travel, sometimes the, it comes very close to that. You must not save those things. Even if you don't know, knock it off. You lose your plant otherwise. And uh, it takes... Otherwise, the limes, no, within two years you get the lime. Be what is the solution for his problem now? No, his problem when he buys a graft, now he can't do anything about it. And I eat it fruit after some years. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't. Uh, and secondly, you know, you do not know what fruits you'll get. Uh, you bought kagdi lime, for example. For God's sake, don't buy kagdi limes. Huh? Kagdi limes are not meant for Goa. Yeah. You, the Goa limes are the best. We have uh, lemon. They grow very well in Goa. Longish lemon. And uh, Goa limes, I don't know why people do uh, Now there's a big demand for Goa limes. They're very nice when you cut a light orange color. Very, very juicy. You cut, a lot of juice goes, so you must take a little saucer and cut. You'll get at least two tees uh, teaspoons of uh, juice. Because he has got a lot of experience in this, you can try it. But I feel you have lost the graft, I feel. Yeah. Okay, if there's nothing, then we close it. One second, excuse me. Just, uh, uh, there's a question from Alice. Mango? It should be about a one and a half centimeter thick. Re cut off the leaves. And don't take the terminal shoot. It doesn't work. Very mature shoot. No, 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 no. Single stem. Yeah. You try it. I'm telling you, you'll succeed. You've got green fingers. What Alphonse? Go Alphonse. Ne no, that is different from uh, Go Alfonso. Go Alfonso is huge. Huh? Where it is? That belongs to somebody? Then you, I'll take a raft and give you also. Yeah, we both take. Exclusive fruit, but let's not touch upon this topic here. Otherwise, it will never end. There are other speakers who need to come up here. Hmm. 
And also may ripen earlier also with the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I, I, I have not finished. Uh, the climate change. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll take care of this later. Let's uh, not. Uh, okay, propagation, if there's no question. You know what? Uh, I, I would like to just say uh, for. Hmm. No, no, no. For grafting, you put that, it will die. It is simple. You have to be clean. No infection should be there. That's all. No need of, don't dip in any chemicals, nothing. Very simple it is. It's not a nuclear science for sure. Very simple. But you need to have experience. Cut your fingers initially with the grafting knife. If you don't cut your fingers, you'll never succeed. You have to get the pain. Yeah, yeah. Because your knife should be very sharp. Better than the kitchen knife. Otherwise, it's very difficult to cut. Now, uh, we are talking about, uh, you know, uh, all of us are affected by this global warming. All of us. Not only, uh, also the trees. So you, you have seen the change in flowering. Yeah, through the year. So now what is the solution to this? Only scientists have to work on this. To find our old Malkurad, we, we don't want to change Malkurad, the, the taste of Malkurad. It is up to the scientists actually to work on this, to produce mangoes. And also we need to have more dwarf mango trees in future. Because we don't get people to pluck the mangoes today. No labor, including coconuts is the worst. So uh, in future it should be, uh, if you have been to Israel, I have been twice to see their cultivation. The way they grow mangoes, no? they produce uh, more than India in the desert. No, that is different from uh, mango growing. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. They are open, including bananas. They just grow open. Uh, what they do? See, they are very scientific people. They will analyze their soil two, three times a year, same, to find out how much is there and how much you have to add. What we do? We go to Mapsa, buy 10 kilos of fertilizer and apply, whether it is there or not. They are not like that. They don't waste uh, one drop of water also. They are fantastic. Uh, they are uh, too good in everything, not only plants. But so beautiful. They prune their mango trees every year. So the mango trees are not bigger than this. And how they harvest, you know, koblen and anjogade. No, 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 no. Not ladder. Huh? Uh, maybe, but uh, I, I, what, what I have seen, you know, they have a, like a JCB. It goes and and go like an umbrella, and they shake it up. That's not the end. See how they do it. They don't take it home. They, they grade it there and there box and send to the airport, goes to London. So fast, we'll bring, ripen, by them half a rotten or nothing like that. And see, they're very clever people. You know, English people don't like Malkurad because it's too sweet. They like very tangy mangoes. So they found the mangoes that grow, what they like, and they're growing. See, that is smartness. We must do like them. Yeah, Oswald is here. He does a lot of studies in plants. Very knowledgeable man. It's good to have doctors uh, doing this. Ah. On propagation. Hmm. Whether you'll get Malkurat. You'll never get Malkurat. Because, uh, yeah.
Exactly. <laughs> See, I, 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 I will just add to that. See, this is a, a, a sexual propagation. We are also hybrids. See? So, you don't know which is the male. It can be also from the same tree. Because male, uh, mango tree has got separate flowers, uh, ma male and female separate. Like you all know, cashew is also part of a mango family, huh? So they have separate flowers. So when they cross, even they cross, you don't get very close to that. You'll get as you said. Hmm. No, no, not for me. I got a mic here. Okay. I have a mic here. That is not meant for us. See, let me tell you. Just hear me. Yeah, one minute, one minute. Yeah, you can identify. See, the, the, any seedling to give fruits, it can take between 15 years to 30 years. Now, this is what the research centers do. As Oswald said, they cross and they don't leave to do research. Those who are there retired, but they keep a record. The next generation, if there is a chance, or the third generation. And they, they have uh, values how to decide on uh, quality of the mango, and they name it after somebody's wife. So Who knows? <laughs> one last, one last note. Can uh, I interrupt? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, I, if it's okay, uh, everyone is glued to their seats and uh, no one wants to go. Every, everyone is glued to their seats and no one wants to get up. So, so yeah, the bar is opened. But uh, if, if, you're, if it's okay by you all, what I suggest is that we've got two talks left. Mm. One is by Dr. Oswald. He's already given you a trailer of what's to come. <laughs> and, and the next is by a young friend, Shamika Andrad, who is uh, going to talk about taking, taking the, the, the banana back to Moira. They are interesting talks, but we cannot be unfair to our market. So if, we, if it's okay by you all, we'll take a 20 minutes break, give you all a chance, because the market guys have to reach far. So they might start closing up. We, we are not closing at 7. We can carry on here. This is the club premise. So even if we are late, we'll carry on with these two talks later to that. Yeah, and come back. 20 minutes? Yeah, fine. So we come back at, we come back at what time? Ten. Okay. And one last thing, one last thing. There is a list going around. Uh, there, is a, there is a group called the Saligaon Seed Bank. If you want to join it, please give your name there. We'll add you. It's a WhatsApp group.